ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിറബിലാലമീൻ Be with us from start till end, inshallah. Important and very informative information, inshallah, we'll be sharing with you. But before we proceed towards our topic of the day, let's make a few good intentions. Now, Shaykh Tariqat, Amir of Ahl Sunnah, Hazrat Allama, Mawlana, Muhammad, Ilyas, Attar, Qadri, Damat Barakatuhum Al-Ali, has given us a beautiful mindset that we should not forget to make good intentions. As I am presenting this program, I make this intention, inshallah, I will present it for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can make this intention, you will watch this program from start to end for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will remember what you learn, act upon and pass this knowledge on to others too. It's always a good idea to invite others towards righteousness. Ask your family members, children, they can come, sit in front of Madani Channel's TV screen and watch this program from start to end. Inshallah Azza wa you will be learning a lot. And if anyone acts upon anything he or she learns from this program and you were the cause for them to learn, inshallah, you will also be rewarded. Respecting viewers, today we have selected an ayah of Qur'an from Surah Nisa, that is verse 116. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Holy Qur'an, In الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء ومن يشرك بالله فقد ضل ضلالا بعيدا Translation from Kanzul Iman Allah does not forgive the sin of associating a partner with him and he forgives whatever is less than that for whomsoever he wills and whoever ascribes partners to Allah he has indeed gone far astray this is a very clear message in the holy quran respecting viewers if we talk about the reason of its revelation, sabab of nuzul, uh, of this very verse of the Holy Qur'an. It has been mentioned that Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma uh, says that this ayah was revealed for a uh, Arabi who was very old person from a, a village and he came in the court of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and said ya nabi allah prophet of allah i am old man and i have been indulged in sins apart from this that since i have recognized allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i have embraced faith upon him i have never associated partner with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Other than this, I am indulged in all sorts of sins, he said. And apart from him, meaning apart from Allah, I have not made anyone my real helper. And that I have not been brave to commit sins. And I have not even thought for a moment that I can run away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have not even thought this for a moment. I am embarrassed. I seek forgiveness i ask for forgiveness what will be my condition and state before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he asked this this verse of surah nisa 
verse 116 was revealed, Allah does not forgive the sin of associating a partner with him and he forgives whatever is less than that for whomsoever he wills, subhanAllah. And whoever ascribes partners to Allah, he has indeed gone far astray. This is a great, great glad tiding for those. They are sinners, but they do not commit shirk. Those, they do not associate partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this sin is for sure not forgiven. There are certain masail that we learn, ulama they've mentioned from this very verse. In part, inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi. Meaning, this is a qat'i proof, decisive proof that shirk will not be forgiven. Associating partners to Allah will not be forgiven. If a mushrik, the one who commits shirk, dies upon shirk while associating partners with Allah. And this is the hukum of kufr. And yes, if a disbeliever or mushrik, the one who associates partners with Allah, if in his life he makes tawbah, then definitely his tawbah, his asking for forgiveness is acceptable and accepted. Another mas'ala what we learn, ulama they've mentioned, that all kabair, sins which are major sins, hukukullah and hukukul ibad, whether they are rights of Allah or rights of people, all are forgivable. Although the method of forgiveness of hukukul ibad will be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask that person whose right would have been violated, Allah will ask him to forgive that person who violated the right. This would be the method for the forgiveness. From this we also come to know that kufr and shirk, apart from them two sins, all other sins, they can be forgiven. But it is not certain that they will be forgiven. It's not sure that they will definitely be forgiven. Why? Because we have got hope upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Because it is mentioned in this very verse, whomsoever Allah wills. So this is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whomsoever He will will, He wills, He will forgive. So we can hope that all major sins can be forgiven. We can hope. But it's not certain that definitely they will be forgiven. Because this is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whomsoever He wills, He will forgive and forgives. And we also know that we never know whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will will to forgive. Hence, this ayah stops us from sinning. It does not encourage us to sin. This is something very important to note. Some people just think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all the sins. But there is a condition, whomsoever Allah wills. So we should not be brave to commit sins upon this that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all forgiving and he will forgive us. No. So respect to Yusuf Madani Shalom. One point is very important to note. Whenever we hear such ayahs of Quran, we hear such verses of Quran where there is tadhkira or discussion of rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attribute of Rahman and Rahim is being mentioned. What happens? Sometimes shaitan puts us uh, towards the thoughts that Allah is Rahman, Allah is Rahim, He will forgive us. Doesn't matter, we can commit sins. And then we will ask for forgiveness and He will forgive us. No doubt Allah is Rahman, no doubt Allah is Rahim, no doubt Allah is all merciful, all forgiving. But at the same time, Allah is Jabbar also. This is also attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is Qahar also. He can also punish. He can also take us accountable, held us accountable. There are accounts where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven for very small reasons. But at the same time, there are accounts where people were punished because of very small and minor things. We should always remain worried and concerned about our condition. That we should not do 
a small sin because of the reason that maybe it might be possible that very small minor sin becomes cause of our destruction and we should never leave a small deed because we never know because of that small deed we can receive the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can receive the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can get the maghfirah from the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no doubt Allah is Rahman, Allah is Rahim Allah forgives all sins but it does not mean that we will be sinning because this very verse what we have learned this tells us that he forgives whatever is less than that meaning less than shirk for whomsoever he wills so there is a condition of his will may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us Ameen Bajahin Nabil Ameen that's all for today we'll be back with another beautiful episode with another beautiful topic until then keep watching Madani channel keep reciting Salat upon Nabi alayhi salat wa tasneem Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Quran, Quran.